Hi, I'm NASA Kennedy's Patricia Valendia with the Exploration Research and Technology Program, and I'm taking you inside KSB. Kennedy Space Center employees with more than 20 years of federal service were recognized during a virtual length of service award ceremony on March 19th. During the ceremony, Center Director Bob Cabana reflected on some of the spaceport's highlights from 20, 30, and even 40 years ago. These included the STS-71 launch of Atlantis, the first shuttle to dock with the Mir space station, the dedication of the Saturn V Center, and the first launch of Space Shuttle Columbia. The ceremony recognized 181 Kennedy employees with more than 5,000 years of combined service. NASA Deep Space Logistics Manager Mark Weiss served as a judge for NASA iTech's latest fast pitch Ignite the Night event. Held recently in Tampa, Ignite the Night was a virtual event where 10 companies from seven states presented technologies that could benefit NASA and positively impact life on Earth. Full Cycle Bioplastics of San Jose, California was selected as the winner. The company's technology addresses three global issues, plastic pollution, food waste, and climate change. It transforms organic waste into a compostable alternative to oil-based plastics. The company will move on to the iTech Final Forum in May to secure NASA support. For more Inside KSC, check us out on social media and at nasa.gov Kennedy.